I keep seeing on YouTube, on these luxury channels, people will do videos with their husbands and the husband rates their handbag collection or whatever it is. And they're really funny. I really enjoy them. I think a lot of you do too. The only problem is I don't have a husband. Except really that's not a problem because you guys who know me, you know I do not want a husband. Thank you very much. But what I do have is a Paul. Say hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. So, some of you may recognize Paul from such videos as Vlogmas, or guy whose voice you can hear in the background. Yeah, that's me. I'm that guy with that voice. Many of you have requested that Paul join me in a video you want to see more of him because he is pretty funny. Now there's pressure on you to be funny. And then again, looks aren't everything. And today he has a really great reason for joining me on this channel. What's your reason for joining me, Paul? I've been watching Autumn and others do these things called unboxings, and it fascinates me. They're so into it, and they're so excited about it. Finally, I have a luxury item that I want to unbox, and I'm excited about it. Shouldn't I be? You should be. I'm excited too. And before I forget, a big shout out to Yota and Winnie, my new BFFs. Why are they your new BFFs? I had a birthday recently and Yota and Winnie uh, just really, really made it enjoyable. They kept me just, just in stitches. And by the way, Yota, I really appreciate those inappropriate photos. They're going to keep me warm the next time there's a Texas freeze. And of course, since it's my channel and it's us, Paul made us cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. To celebrate your first luxury bag and your first luxury unboxing. We'll see how this goes. And so if you're interested in seeing me do a luxury unboxing, stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here and I'm Paul. Welcome to her channel or welcome back to her channel. Her channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury bags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, then subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon to be notified when there's a new video, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to her channel is that you get to see her community posts on your YouTube homepage. And that's where she posts deals and discount codes and sales and rare finds related to these beautiful things that you all love. Great job, Paul. Thanks, Autumn. Hey, Autumn. Yes. What's, what's that on your neck? That... Oh, this? Why, I'm so glad you asked. This is my herd necklace. It's from award-winning jewelry designer Jill Maurer. Have you ever heard of Jill Maurer? Every day. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a discount code for Jill Maurer, would you? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. You can check the description box below for a code that will give you, I believe it's 15% off anything at Jill Maurer's website. How about that? Impressive. And her jewelry is for anyone who loves it. Women, men, dogs, whatever. All right, let's get to this unboxing. So I wanted to show you the item that I'm going to unbox today. This luxury item. A little backstory on this. I've been wanting one of these for years, for years. Couldn't sleep at night. It just consumed my life. I went to the store 76 times trying to even look at the bags, but couldn't do it. 76 times until finally one day I went to the store and they let me in. But before I could see the bag, I had to do a few things. I had to answer some security questions. What city was I born in? What's the maiden name of my 34th cousin? What city am I going to die in? And then I had to give them my ID card, passport, vaccination card, and finally they let me see the bag. And you know over the course of those 76 visits, every time I bought something that I didn't need, just hoping that they'd show me what I really wanted to see. So finally the day came and now I have it. And I want to unbox it and I want you to be part of it. So let's get started. First of all, I want to show you this exquisite, exquisite bag. Lightweight, easily found at a subway station. Great handles. Look at that. And you, you don't see a logo because it's so exclusive that it's invisible. So if you know, you know. So if you're ready, let's do this. That's beautiful. The blood's rushing to my head. Look at this, this fine, fine bag. It's a Billingham Hadley Small Pro camera bag. It's what I've wanted all my life. And you guys may know we're both photographers. So this is, this is Paul's dream bag. Look at this. 
Isn't that beautiful? Sides. Back. Front. Top. Bottom. And the color, it combines two of my favorite things, coffee and chocolate. My God. It's handmade in England. It's waterproof canvas. The back has a waterproof zipper. Did I see something inside that pocket, Paul? Well, I hope it's a $100 bill. It's the inside. No, but there's something else there. <sighs> You're right. I have to watch my unboxing videos more carefully. Look. A dust bag. Who has a camera bag with a dust bag? Who has that? Isn't that beautiful? I want to crawl into it and go to sleep. Billingham. It just sounds British. Billingham. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. Shout out to Gwenny across the pond. First of all, it's just a beautiful bag. Look at that. Leather. Look at these leather latches. They're a little bit hard to get into at first because it's new. Undo them. And inside, first of all, the inside is beautiful green color, waterproof. Shoulder strap, adjustable, and it can be removed. And what I really love, inside, it has a removable section that totally comes out. Thanks, Autumn. I'm here for and snaps out so now we have a bag much larger interior it's just one big opening no pockets inside but plenty of room for plenty of gear the insert itself is also waterproof and inside this insert which is beautiful it has sections inside where you can section it off and put in lenses cameras batteries flashes etc it's really great. It looks like it's pretty thick padding too, eh? It is. Third of an inch thick. And it's real soft inside and the outside's more like a nylon, right? Is that what you'd say? Nylonish. On the outside of it, it has two. Strap out of the way. Yeah. On the outside, two pockets which are expandable. I don't know if you can see this well, but I'll try. It has a snap which allows it to expand even further. And if you close that snap, you can put something like a pencil or a pen light, this kind of thing, that's extra storage space for that. So it's a great bag. It's just the right size if I'm gonna go out and just take casual shots without a tripod, without long lenses. Like it's comfortable. Uh, there are accessories, I understand, where you can get a shoulder pad that you can put on the uh, on the strap itself. Five-year warranty, and I understand they even have a repair facility that you can send it in, and they have authorized repair. On the back, before I forget, if you're in an airport, this comes in handy because then you can slip it over your suitcase as you're walking through the airport. Really great. It's lightweight, extremely durable, and I love the colors. It's, it's masculine, it's manly, and I love it. And finally, I have it. Another one of the things that makes this pro version a little bit special from the, the regular version, it has a handle with a leather insert inside, which makes it very comfortable to hold, very comfortable to carry for a long time. I just love the bag. Do these buckles do anything? Well, you can adjust the straps, or if you have something that's pulling the top up a little bit, you can lengthen the strap and get more storage room inside. That's pretty cool. It is cool. I love it. So that about wraps up the bag itself. Now I'm going to do some mod shots for you. Just for reference, I'm five foot ten. So I'm going to show you with the shortest length over my shoulder. This is very comfortable because I can rest my arm on it if it gets tired. It's right there. I happen to be right-handed, so I'm often reaching inside the bag for something that I need, and it's right there on the shortest length. So there's that. Now we'll go to the longer length. Okay, this tag is getting in the way. Are you sure you want to keep this bag, Paul? Cut it. Ah. It belongs to you now. There's no turning back. <laughs> By the way, I'm taking it to its longest length. So if you're an NBA star, this is also the bag for you. I'm going to try it across my shoulder like this. It's way down at your knees. Wow. <laughs> Very long. That's right. Pretty long there. You could also be wide and yeah, that would I, be good for you. That's a great idea. I need to gain 50 pounds. <laughs> another, another advantage of the bag. So I thought it was going to be fun and it's, it's an ordeal. <laughs> Not that I don't ever want to do it again, but it's it's hard. I mean, yeah. when you realize somebody's watching this, right. hope you're a good editor. I mean, you've never seen, you've never sat here and watched me film. It's the same thing. Really? Pretty much. But not that bad. I mean, I've had more practice. Yeah. So there it is. My Billingham Hadley Small Pro. My dream bag. And now I have it. Thanks for sharing this with me. Until next time, hope you and your loved ones are doing well. We hope to see you back here next time. Bye. So I'm just talking to you now, right? Right, but it's still being filmed. Yeah. Um, so how'd it go?
Your I, very first unboxing. It was, it was nerve wracking. I loved the bag. Mm -hmm. I didn't love my. It wasn't what I expected. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm really in awe of people who do this, YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Really am. Harder than it looks, eh? Certainly. <laughs> I did. I had a lot of fun. Good. Now I have to buy a lot more luxury bags okay. so I can do a lot more unboxing. That sounds like a good idea to me. And so if y'all see my wife, don't tell her nothing. <laughs>